Um, we're talking about uh, social media and most of the government. We always have our social media chat every Friday with Joy Chalagat. Today, we're honored to be hosting as well Dani Situmbi, who's the Director of Digital Innovation and Diaspora as well, blogger also, um, uh, with us to talk more about the same. Because you see all these accounts um, by government officials and various institutions and let's begin at a place of the government one of the biggest campaign um you know things it rode on was we are digital government how have you been able to put that into play now that you're in government well the first challenge was separating the definition of digital and ict mm -hmm. because long before we came in government and ict departments so trying to mainstream that ict department will deal with the hardware and that the digital the new digital phrase would come in to deal with the software mm -hmm. in terms of digital would just be it would be a medium through which government expresses itself and after that, that distinction the next thing was to say digital is not per se just being online it's also a shift of mind because uh you realize that we, we in the department we said digital is a skill mm. but also a state of mind so we were getting, well, I remember when we got into State House the first time, well, where I sit in State House, there are a, a heap of diskettes, the floppy disks, the three and a half floppy disks. And the, one of the tasks was getting them out, and I was told you can't throw this thing away, it's the memory of the institution, and therefore trying to turn that into a digital frame, that an, an accessible mode through which you'd get that information. Yeah. So for a long time, government had operated, had operated on a system that did not really care about how information was stored online. So that was the first change in the state of mind, which we have since managed and not very successfully. Mm -hmm. We are rating ourselves so far at only 40%. We have not done what government is capable of doing. Not capable of doing, and we're going to want to sort out your mic. There's a little bit of a noise, but uh, as they do that, Joy, mm -hmm. um, in terms of you looking at this government and that it, you know, hinged on that digital have we seen that being seen by everybody the one thing i'll say in terms of presence we've seen it you mm -hmm. know all of a sudden before it was just a few politicians who had online presence they're yeah. the ones who we could actually see on digital media but now we're seeing almost all ministers um cs's are up you know and we can see their twitter handles uh we've seen a lot more in terms of uh, what the government is doing you know their websites you know the revamped uh, president.go.ke and all those different changes so we've seen that we've seen it in terms of presence however i'll say effectiveness is a different it's a, it's, it's another different it's a different matter as he said he's rating himself at 40. okay so. um and, and of course the many accounts some of the issues that have risen is the confusion even with these accounts how efficient they have been in as far as um putting out information what mm -hmm. would you say is the biggest even the reception of people on social media has been i think for me the thing is uh for example when i'm at work one yeah. thing i do is i have uh, i have all the tales of the <laughs> senior you know the, the senior government guys mm -hmm. and some of the key agencies like ndoc the disaster guys so when i see for example um kenya red cross or any other agency that deals with emergency response tweets that for example uh five casualties after an accident or after some terror attack and I check and you see and that, that communication is not there or sometimes you'll find that there's um, different guys are communicating different things I think for me that would be the, the the big issue mm -hmm. because I feel like um, it's very important that as government we are different arms you're different arms of government but there needs to be that singular voice because you're all part and parcel of one um, one one unit yes okay yes um, <clears throat> and it's interesting um, to note also um, that at the very beginning, um, you know, when all this was being rolled out, there was mm -hmm. a question of websites, mm -hmm. you know, and, and as far as the information on them and how efficient mm -hmm. um, they are, whether people can be able to log on, get in there, access information, mm -hmm. um, be able to submit their documents, if it's a question of submitting, which we'll come to Dennis and ask him about that. But have we seen also these ministries and the different organizations, just in terms of, you know, just websites and their online presence, um, increase, or do we still have the same old? I can say so, because I remember the government announced some time back that they were going to cut down on the expenditure they're using in terms of traditional adverts, and they're going to push a lot. So these days, what we end up seeing a lot is that you'll find maybe a certain ministry, what they'll do is, um, when they 
the advertising for jobs, instead of taking out five pages in the paper for the different jobs and the roles, they'll mm -hmm. take out, you know, probably half a page and just list the jobs and tell you go to their personal website and from there you can be able to download. Mm -hmm. um, also, you'll find that a lot of government-to-government uh, -government scholarships, you can actually find them on the government website. So, yes, there's a lot of accessible um, information that people can actually find on these sites. Okay. Yes. Um, and um, Dennis, we want to engage you as well because... We've talked about what the vision was and what it is you hoped this would um, bring in as far as engagement in a world that's fast changing um, with Kenyans. What have been the challenges for you before we get to the harder questions? <laughs> <laughs> Several. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, we, we're in a situation where people still do, have not yet fully embraced uh, digital media partly because of how it was presented in the beginning and also the, uh, the fact that people do not want scrutiny by a mass of people at the same time for every single decision they make. Mm -hmm. They would rather have that through the old system of performance contracts at the end of the year more than through in public. So that's up to now we've not even managed to wire in I would say 30% of government is, is the only one that is visible on social media. Mm -hmm. we, the challenge you're having now is to actually force people to get in because at, at senior level we have made a decision everyone has to be there so that people can be able to tackle the questions and so that people can get answers at the lowest level possible. Mm -hmm. So that if you're looking for if you're looking for a passport and without due respect immigration is on, but if you're looking for a passport, that officer who actually has a track number when you get your track number for your passport <coughs> should be the one who you're able to know it is so and so who served you mm -hmm. and therefore should be on social media so that you can get a brief on how far your tracking number is gone. So there is a thinking and a strategy towards it. And uh, we we are having a, an internal conversation with the senior government officials. And the good thing is that at least at the uh, the permanent uh, the permanent secretary level, the cabinet secretary level, there's good reception. And therefore, it's going to be easy to go down. There, are, of course, the other challenge has been staffing. Mm -hmm. You well understand that government has. Uh, right now is not employing due to wage bill and the other reviews going mm -hmm. on. So you have a situation where the digital innovation and in diaspora department has only two people to handle all the three components involved in that title. And uh, that in itself is a challenge because it means you're the guys designing the websites, you're the guys doing the mobile apps, you're the guys doing uh, monitoring sentiment, and you're the guys reacting to the issues. Sometimes it's overwhelming. Okay. Uh, Dennis, we want to take a short break. Uh, when we return, we will get to some of the issues and concerns, especially Kenyans on social media on Twitter on Facebook uh, that have raised and have in as far as your presence on social media and the kind of communication that uh, Kenyans get to see don't go away we're back in a moment <laughs> 